Republican U.S. Representative Devin Nunes from California, who is the ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. He is suing, suing Twitter for shadow banning, uh, effectively censoring conservatives and muting their voices. Uh, and he said he believes that this has impacted the 2018 midterm elections. Not only is Representative Nunes suing Twitter, the company, but Representative Nunes is actually suing individual Twitter users as well. For defamation. So, for defamation. So some of these individuals, some of their handles uh, include um, at Devin Nunes mom and at Devin Cow. So like you said, he, um, Nunes is alleging that Twitter facilitated, quote, defamation on its platform, end quote, and ignored, quote, lawful complaints about offensive content, end quote, to remain accessible to the public. Um, and also um, in this lawsuit, it also says uh, Twitter, by its actions, intended to generate and pro proliferate the false and defamatory statements about plaintiff in order to influence the outcome of the 2018 congressional election and to intimidate plaintiff and interfere with his important investigation of corruption by the Clinton campaign <laughs> and alleged Russian involvement in the 2018 presidential election. I tried to get through that. Without, without laughing, laughing. And, uh, but I could not. Uh, in the lawsuit also, he claims that Twitter's failure to police mean memes, mean <laughs> memes, among other things, caused him extreme pain and suffering. And suffering. Now, how old is Devin Nunez? He's like 50s? Is he 50? I thought he was probably 40s. 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 Yeah, Either way, um, he's probably... He's probably not too aware of the monster he was trying to go up against. Now, as far as I know, the internet is undefeated. <laughs> and apparently Devin Nunez did not know that. He was unaware. He was unaware that the, 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 uh, the, the, the internet was undefeated. So he not only went after the internet for some reason, he went after the internet's fist <laughs> in Twitter. If you're going to go up against the internet, you do not go up against the internet's fist, which is like the equivalent of, I don't know, like a, a Mike Tyson uppercut. That is the wrong part of the internet to go up against. And um, there was someone on Twitter who started this trend and it says uh, we should all change our names on Twitter to be Devin Nunez themed for a day. Now this person changed his name to his Twitter name to Devin Nunez is a whiny baby. If you go <laughs> down that Twitter thread, it's basically people saying done, done, yes. done, done with their new Twitter handle. Some of my favorites are Devin Nunez hurt fifis. <laughs> that's one of my, uh, that's my, one of my favorites. Uh, Devin Nunez, black friend. Uh, Devin Nunez, biological mom. Devin Nunez, <laughs> chiropractor. Uh, Devin Nunez, totally real girlfriend. There was a there was Devin <laughs> Nunez tears. There was Devin this, Nunez, uh, Devin Nunez Velcro shoes. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's that was that was your favorite one. Uh, uh, Devin Nunez needs help. That is funny. And literally, like hours after this like happened, raw story. Uh, uploaded, uh, posted an article, and the headline was Devin Nunez parody account spike in Twitter followers after congressman's lawsuit. And I was like, that's why you don't pick a fight with the internet's fist. It's Twitter. And he must have just, somebody didn't tell him. Somebody did not tell him. Um, excuse me. Uh, I'm just writing out my lawsuit right there. <laughs> um, because, see, I remember... You bullying me in fifth grade, you know what I'm saying? Picking on my shoes or something like that. And you know what? Even speaking to current day, see, I, we have that on record. We have that on record, okay? See, this is the type of guy that has poked fun at my usage of the words uh, ho-hum. So I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. 250 million, okay? <laughs> I got gotcha. you. This is what Devin Nunes is doing. See, like... He's suing individual Twitter users users for $250 million because they bullied him, because they mocked him on social media. This is a United States Congress member. 
and he can't take a little bit see, of poking fun at. See, to he me, calls it defamation. There has to be something more to this. Um, yes, we can pick at it, and it is ridiculous and pathetic and thin skin. But there's got to be more to this. <sighs> this is so like this. I think that this is actually it's funny, but I think it's pretty serious because this is him trying to squash any dissent yeah. by burying it in litigation in hopes that um, people will be financially drained from this. I hope it. I hope it gets thrown out. And is not seen as a legitimate lawsuit, so people won't have to go through that. But I think that's the end goal here, even though we can make fun of it and laugh at it. That's the end goal because it just doesn't make sense. There has to be some sort of like uh, bigger goal here. And but to me, that's to drown out actually people who both, because it's like a combination of things, like like bringing up serious issues, but actually poking fun at people while doing it. And that's what a lot, that's what happens on social media. So making him look stupid and bringing up like serious issues in regards to Devin Nunez's uh, political posi positions and how he's been running interference for Trump. So that's been happening along with him being made to look, look like a fool. I think he's more concerned about the things that implicate him politically and he's trying to shut that down and using or bearing people in litigation to do that. People who probably can't uh, kind of afford that type of, uh, you know, uh, financial burden. Um, but the big fish here is Twitter. So it's these social media companies that these conservatives always are crying about saying that they are being shut out of, that they're being shadow banned, that they're being effectively censored, which is absolute nonsense. We, you can look at their Twitter posts. You can see the far reach of them. Uh, Diamond and Silk, who are two ridiculous conservative voices, they have actually said the same thing. They actually appeared before uh, a committee in Congress talking about how they were being censored, which they are not. You can look at the reach that they still have today and they are not being effectively silenced at all. So I think this is just an effort by conservatives to try to get these social media giants to bend to their request. And if they, you know, if they do just the slightest bit of, uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna bend, we're gonna do something for you. We're gonna placate somehow. We're, we're just gonna do something for you. Uh, it's gonna be never ending.